Hello guys. When reviewing your N-400 application, the immigration officer will ask you the yes-no questions in part 12 of the form N-400. Some officer asks a few questions, but some officer asks a lot of the yes-no questions. We will go over all 50 yes-no questions and vocabulary definitions to help you learn easily. The word definitions are very short and simple, so you can remember quickly. We believe this video will help you pass your N-400 interview with ease. Let's get started. Have you ever claimed to be a U.S. citizen in writing or in any other way? Have you ever claimed to be a U.S. citizen in writing or in any other way? No. What does it mean to claim? To say something is true. What does claim to be a U.S. citizen mean? To state you are a U.S. citizen. Have you ever registered to vote in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? Have you ever registered to vote in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? No. What does it mean to register? To sign up. Have you ever voted in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? Have you ever voted in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? No. What does vote mean? To elect new leaders. Do you now have or did you ever have a hereditary title or an order of nobility in any foreign country? Do you now have or did you ever have a hereditary title or an order of nobility in any foreign country? No. What is hereditary title? A royal title such as prince or princess. What does order of nobility mean? Like king or queen. Have you ever been declared legally incompetent or been confined to a mental institution? Have you ever been declared legally incompetent or been confined to a mental institution? No. What does it mean to be declared? To be told something publicly. What is legally incompetent? Having mental problems. Can you explain what confined means? To be kept in a place. What is mental institution? Hospital for people with mental problems. Do you owe any overdue federal, state, or local taxes? Do you owe any overdue federal, state, or local taxes? No. What does owe mean? To have a debt. What does it mean to owe taxes? To owe the government money. What does overdue mean? Past a deadline. 
Have you ever not filed a federal, state, or local tax return since you became a lawful permanent resident? Have you ever not filed a federal, state, or local tax return since you became a lawful permanent resident? No. What does it mean to file a tax return? To send tax paperwork to the government. Have you called yourself a non US resident on a federal, state, or local tax return since you became a lawful permanent resident? Have you called yourself a non US resident on a federal, state, or local tax return since you became a lawful permanent resident? No. What is non US resident? Not a U.S. resident. Have you ever been a member of, involved in, or in any way associated with any organization, association, fund, foundation, party, club, society, or similar group in the United States or in any other location in the world? Have you ever been a member of, involved in, or in any way associated with any organization, association, fund, foundation, party, club, society, or similar group in the United States or in any other location in the world? No. Have you ever been a member of or in any way associated, either directly or indirectly, with the Communist Party? Have you ever been a member of or in any way associated, either directly or indirectly, with the Communist Party? No. What does Communist Party mean? No freedom like China, North Korea. Have you ever been a member of or in any way associated, either directly or indirectly, with a terrorist organization? Have you ever been a member of or in any way associated, either directly or indirectly, with a terrorist organization? No. What does terrorist organization mean? An organization that uses violence against people. Have you ever been a member of or in any way associated, either directly or indirectly, with any other totalitarian party? Have you ever been a member of or in any way associated, either directly or indirectly, with any other totalitarian party? No. What is totalitarian party? Government controls everything and people have no power. Have you ever persecuted either directly or indirectly any person because of race, religion, national origin, membership in a particular social group, or political opinion? Have you ever persecuted either directly or indirectly any person because of race, religion, national origin, membership in a particular social group, or political opinion? No. What does it mean to persecute? To hurt someone badly. Do you know what religion means? A belief in God. What is national origin? Where a person is from. 
Have you ever advocated, either directly or indirectly, the overthrow of any government by force or violence? Have you ever advocated, either directly or indirectly, the overthrow of any government by force or violence? No. What does it mean to advocate? To support. What is overthrow of a government? To remove a government from power. Between March 23, 1933, and May 8, 1945, did you work for or associate in any way with the Nazi government of Germany? Between March 23, 1933, and May 8, 1945, did you work for or associate in any way with the Nazi government of Germany? No. What does Nazi mean? The party under Hitler. Did you work for or associate in any way with any government in any area occupied, allied with, or established with the help of the Nazi government of Germany? Did you work for or associate in any way with any government in any area occupied, allied with, or established with the help of the Nazi government of Germany? No. Did you work for any German, Nazi, or SS military unit, paramilitary unit, self defense unit, vigilante unit, citizen unit, police unit, government agency or office, extermination camp, concentration camp, prisoner of war camp, prison, labor camp, or transit camp? Did you work for any German, Nazi, or SS military unit, paramilitary unit, self defense unit, vigilante unit, citizen unit, police unit, government agency or office, extermination camp, concentration camp, prisoner of war camp, prison, labor camp, or transit camp? No. What does SS military unit mean? An organization under the Nazi government. What is extermination camp? A place to keep people before killing them. What does concentration camp mean? A place to keep prisoners of war. What is prisoner of war camp? A place to keep enemy soldiers. What does transit camp mean? A place to keep people temporarily. Were you ever involved in any way with genocide? Were you ever involved in any way with genocide? No. What does it mean to involve? To take part in. Do you know what genocide means? To kill a whole race. Were you ever involved in any way with torture? Were you ever involved in any way with torture? No. What does it mean to torture? To hurt someone physically. Were you ever involved in killing or trying to kill someone? Were you ever involved in killing or trying to kill someone? 
No. What does kill mean? To cause a death of a person. Were you ever involved in badly hurting or trying to hurt a person on purpose? Were you ever involved in badly hurting or trying to hurt a person on purpose? No. Were you ever involved in forcing or trying to force someone to have any kind of sexual contact or relations? Were you ever involved in forcing or trying to force someone to have any kind of sexual contact or relations? No. What is forcing sexual contact or relations? To touch someone's body when they don't want it. Were you ever involved in not letting someone practice his or her religion? Were you ever involved in not letting someone practice his or her religion? No. Were you ever a member of, or did you ever serve in, help, or otherwise participate in military unit? Were you ever a member of, or did you ever serve in, help, or otherwise participate in military unit? No. What does it mean to participate? To be part of. What is military unit? A group that works for government. Were you ever a member of, or did you ever serve in, help, or otherwise participate in paramilitary unit? Were you ever a member of, or did you ever serve in, help, or otherwise participate in paramilitary unit? No. Do you know what paramilitary unit means? Like a military group, but is not official. Were you ever a member of, or did you ever serve in, help, or otherwise participate in police unit? Were you ever a member of, or did you ever serve in, help, or otherwise participate in police unit? No. What does police unit mean? A group that protects community. Were you ever a member of, or did you ever serve in, help, or otherwise participate in self defense unit? Were you ever a member of, or did you ever serve in, help, or otherwise participate in self defense unit? No. What is self defense unit? A group that protects a place. Were you ever a member of, or did you ever serve in, help, or otherwise participate in vigilante unit? Were you ever a member of, or did you ever serve in, help, or otherwise participate in vigilante unit? No. What does vigilante unit mean? A group that acts like the police but are not the police. Were you ever a member of, or did you ever serve in, help, or otherwise participate in rebel group? Were you ever a member of, or did you ever serve in, help, or otherwise participate in rebel group? No. 
What is rebel group? A group fights a government. Were you ever a member of, or did you ever serve in, help, or otherwise participate in guerrilla group? Were you ever a member of, or did you ever serve in, help, or otherwise participate in guerrilla group? No. What is guerrilla group? A group uses weapons to attack the government. Were you ever a member of, or did you ever serve in, help, or otherwise participate in militia? Were you ever a member of, or did you ever serve in, help, or otherwise participate in militia? No. What does militia mean? An army does not work for a government. Were you ever a member of, or did you ever serve in, help, or otherwise participate in insurgent organization? Were you ever a member of, or did you ever serve in, help, or otherwise participate in insurgent organization? No. What is insurgent organization? A group fights a government. Were you ever a worker, volunteer, or soldier, or did you otherwise ever serve in prison or jail? Were you ever a worker, volunteer, or soldier, or did you otherwise ever serve in prison or jail? No. What is prison or jail? A place where prisoners are kept. Were you ever a worker, volunteer, or soldier, or did you otherwise ever serve in prison camp? Were you ever a worker, volunteer, or soldier, or did you otherwise ever serve in prison camp? No. Do you know what prison camp means? A place to keep enemy soldiers. Were you ever a worker, volunteer, or soldier, or did you otherwise ever serve in labor camp? Were you ever a worker, volunteer, or soldier, or did you otherwise ever serve in labor camp? No. What is labor camp? A place to force people to work. Were you ever a worker, volunteer, or soldier, or did you otherwise ever serve in detention facility? Were you ever a worker, volunteer, or soldier, or did you otherwise ever serve in detention facility? No. What does detention facility mean? A place where people are forced to stay. Were you ever a worker, volunteer, or soldier, or did you otherwise ever serve in any other place where people were forced to stay? Were you ever a worker, volunteer, or soldier, or did you otherwise ever serve in any other place where people were forced to stay? No. Were you ever a part of any group or did you ever help any group, unit, or organization that used a weapon against any person or threatened to do so? Were you ever a part of any group or did you ever help any group, unit, or organization that used a weapon against any person or threatened to do so? No. 
What is weapon? Like a knife or gun. What does it mean to threaten? To want to hurt someone. Did you ever sell, give, or provide weapons to any person or help another person sell, give, or provide weapons to any person? Did you ever sell, give, or provide weapons to any person or help another person sell, give, or provide weapons to any person? No. Did you ever receive any type of military, paramilitary, or weapons training? Did you ever receive any type of military, paramilitary, or weapons training? No. What is weapons training? To learn how to use a gun. Did you ever use any person under 15 years of age to do anything that helped or supported people in combat? Did you ever use any person under 15 years of age to do anything that helped or supported people in combat? No. What is combat? To fight in war. Did you ever recruit, enlist, conscript, or use any person under 15 years of age to serve in or help an armed force or group? Did you ever recruit, enlist, conscript, or use any person under 15 years of age to serve in or help an armed force or group? No. What does recruit mean? To ask. What is enlist? To sign up in the armed forces. What does conscript mean? To require someone to join the army. Have you ever committed, assisted in committing, or attempted to commit a crime or offense for which you were not arrested? Have you ever committed, assisted in committing, or attempted to commit a crime or offense for which you were not arrested? No. What is crime? An action that breaks the law. What does offense mean? A minor crime. What does it mean to be arrested? Handcuffed by the police. What does commit a crime mean? To do something that breaks the law. Have you ever been arrested, cited, or detained by any law enforcement officer, including any immigration official or any official of the U.S. Armed Forces, for any reason? Have you ever been arrested, cited, or detained by any law enforcement officer, including any immigration official or any official of the U.S. Armed Forces, for any reason? No. What does cited mean? Given a ticket by police. Can you explain what detained means? Held in custody by police. Have you ever been charged with committing, attempting to commit, or assisting in committing a crime or offense? 
Have you ever been charged with committing, attempting to commit, or assisting in committing a crime or offense? No. What does charged mean? Police tell that you did something illegal. Have you ever been convicted of a crime or offense? Have you ever been convicted of a crime or offense? No. What does it mean to be convicted? To be found guilty of a crime. Have you ever been placed in an alternative sentencing or a rehabilitative program, for example, diversion, deferred prosecution, withheld adjudication, deferred adjudication? Have you ever been placed in an alternative sentencing or a rehabilitative program, for example, diversion, deferred prosecution, withheld adjudication, deferred adjudication? No. What is alternative sentencing? A different way to punish someone. What is rehabilitative program? A program to help someone to restore health. What does diversion mean? A different program to avoid jail time. What is withheld adjudication? Like a second chance. What is deferred prosecution or deferred adjudication? Such as community service. Have you ever received a suspended sentence, been placed on probation, or been paroled? Have you ever received a suspended sentence, been placed on probation, or been paroled? No. What does sentence mean? A punishment under the law. What is suspended sentence? Delaying of a sentence. What does probation mean? You report to an officer regularly instead of jail time. What is parole? The early release of a prisoner. Have you ever been in jail or prison? Have you ever been in jail or prison? No. Have you ever been a habitual drunkard? Have you ever been a habitual drunkard? No. What is habitual drunkard? Someone who drinks too much alcohol regularly. Have you ever been a prostitute or procured anyone for prostitution? Have you ever been a prostitute or procured anyone for prostitution? No. Can you explain what prostitute means? Someone who has sex for money. What is procure? To find someone for sex. Have you ever sold or smuggled controlled substances, illegal drugs, or narcotics? 
Have you ever sold or smuggled controlled substances, illegal drugs, or narcotics? No. What does smuggle mean? To take things to a country illegally. Do you know what controlled substances means? You can buy it with a prescription, but with restrictions. What does illegal drugs or narcotics mean? Like heroin or cocaine. Have you ever been married to more than one person at the same time? Have you ever been married to more than one person at the same time? No. Have you ever helped anyone to enter or try to enter the United States illegally? Have you ever helped anyone to enter or try to enter the United States illegally? No. Have you ever failed to support your dependents or to pay alimony? Have you ever failed to support your dependents or to pay alimony? No. What does dependent mean? Someone who relies on another person. What does it mean to pay alimony? To pay money to ex-spouse after a divorce. Have you ever married someone in order to obtain an immigration benefit? Have you ever married someone in order to obtain an immigration benefit? No. What is immigration benefit? Things like a visa, green card, or citizenship. What does it mean to obtain? To get something. Have you ever gambled illegally or received income from illegal gambling? Have you ever gambled illegally or received income from illegal gambling? No. What does gamble mean? To play a game for money. Have you ever made any misrepresentation to obtain any public benefit in the United States? Have you ever made any misrepresentation to obtain any public benefit in the United States? No. What is public benefit? Welfare like food stamps. Can you explain what misrepresentation means? To lie or give wrong information. Have you ever given any U.S. government officials any information or documentation that was false, fraudulent, or misleading? Have you ever given any U.S. government officials any information or documentation that was false, fraudulent, or misleading? No. What does false mean? Not true. What is fraudulent? To claim something that is not true. What is misleading? To give a wrong idea. 
Have you ever lied to any U.S. government officials to gain entry or admission into the United States or to gain immigration benefits while in the United States? Have you ever lied to any U.S. government officials to gain entry or admission into the United States or to gain immigration benefits while in the United States? No. What does lie mean? To say something that is not true. Do you know what admission into the United States means? The right to enter the United States. Have you ever been removed, excluded, or deported from the United States? Have you ever been removed, excluded, or deported from the United States? No. Do you know what exclude means? To prevent from entering the United States. What does deport mean? To force a person to leave a country. Have you ever been ordered removed, excluded, or deported from the United States? Have you ever been ordered removed, excluded, or deported from the United States? No. Have you ever been placed in removal, exclusion, rescission, or deportation proceedings? Have you ever been placed in removal, exclusion, rescission, or deportation proceedings? No. What is rescission? To take back a decision. What does deportation proceedings mean? Process of removing a person. Are removal, exclusion, rescission, or deportation proceedings, including administratively closed proceedings, currently pending against you? Are removal, exclusion, rescission, or deportation proceedings, including administratively closed proceedings, currently pending against you? No. What does pending mean? Waiting to happen. Have you ever served in the U.S. Armed Forces? Have you ever served in the U.S. Armed Forces? No. Do you know what U.S. Armed Forces means? U.S. Military, Navy, Air Force. Are you currently a member of the U.S. Armed Forces? Are you currently a member of the U.S. Armed Forces? No. Have you ever been court-martialed, administratively separated, or disciplined, or have you received an other-than-honorable discharge while in the U.S. Armed Forces? Have you ever been court-martialed, administratively separated, or disciplined, or have you received an other-than-honorable discharge while in the U.S. Armed Forces? No. What is court-martialed? To go to military court. What is disciplined? To be punished for doing something wrong. What does it mean to discharge? 
A soldier leaves the military. Have you ever been discharged from training or service in the U.S. Armed Forces because you were an alien? Have you ever been discharged from training or service in the U.S. Armed Forces because you were an alien? No. What is alien? Not a U.S. citizen. Have you ever left the United States to avoid being drafted in the U.S. Armed Forces? Have you ever left the United States to avoid being drafted in the U.S. Armed Forces? No. What does drafted mean? Being selected as a soldier. What does it mean to avoid being drafted? To prevent being selected as a soldier. Have you ever applied for any kind of exemption from military service in the U.S. Armed Forces? Have you ever applied for any kind of exemption from military service in the U.S. Armed Forces? No. What is exemption? Special permission not to do something. Have you ever deserted from the U.S. Armed Forces? Have you ever deserted from the U.S. Armed Forces? No. What does it mean to be deserted? To abandon. Are you a male who lived in the United States at any time between your 18th and 26th birthdays? Are you a male who lived in the United States at any time between your 18th and 26th birthdays? No. Did you ever register for the Selective Service? Did you ever register for the Selective Service? No. What does Selective Service mean? Services in Armed Forces Under Law. Do you support the Constitution and form of government of the United States? Do you support the Constitution and form of government of the United States? Yes, I do. What is Constitution? It is the supreme law of the land. What is form of government of the United States? Republic. Do you understand the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Do you understand the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Yes. Can you explain what oath of allegiance means? A promise to be loyal to the United States. Are you willing to take the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Are you willing to take the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Yes. If the law requires it, are you willing to bear arms on behalf of the United States? If the law requires it, are you willing to bear arms on behalf of the United States? Yes, I'm willing to. 
What does bear arms mean? To own or use a gun. If the law requires it, are you willing to perform non-combatant services in the U.S. Armed Forces? If the law requires it, are you willing to perform non-combatant services in the U.S. Armed Forces? Yes, I'm willing to. Do you understand what non-combatant services means? Services that do not involve combat. If the law requires it, are you willing to perform work of national importance under civilian direction? If the law requires it, are you willing to perform work of national importance under civilian direction? Yes, I'm willing to. What is work of national importance? Tasks that are important to a nation. What does civilian mean? A person who is not in the military. Do you know what civilian direction means? A direction from a person who is not in the military.